In this video, we're going to look at rates of change involved with a semicircular tank. Now, what it says, it actually says show that the volume of water is given by, but we're going to use that. So the volume is a half theta minus sine theta. We're not going to show that in this video. And it tells us if water is pumped into the tank at a rate of 0.1 meters cubed per minute. Now, because meters cubed is a unit of volume, what it's telling us is dV by dt is 0.1 meters cubed per minute. And it wants us to find the rate at which the water level is rising. Okay, so we want to find dH by dt where H is the depth of the water in the tank. And they want us to find it at a time when H is 0.2 meters. Well, we know we're not going to use this until we've come up with an expression for dH by dt. So first of all, let's look at what we need to do. We want dH by dt. We know dV by dt. Now we don't want a dV, so we need to cancel that out. So we need dV on the bottom. <coughs> but really we, we need a dH on the top. However, we've only got an expression for V in terms of theta. So we can find a d theta by dV. But then that means we have to add in a third derivative where we cancel out the d theta and we find the dh. So filling these in, we've got an expression for v. Um, we know that dv by dt is 0 0.1, so we know that's 0 0.1. We've got an expression for v, so we can find dv by d theta. So if we differentiate that, a half theta is going to become a half, and negative a half sine theta is going to become negative a half cos theta. So that's going to be a half 1 minus cos theta. However, we don't want dv by d theta, we want d theta by dv, so this is going to become 1 over a half, 1 minus cos theta. Now we need to come up with an expression for h in terms of theta. Now because this is a semicircle, we know that, and the diameter is 1 metre, we know the radius is a half a metre, so what we know is that total distance down here is a half, We want to find h, so if we can find this distance here by, 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 by bisecting the circle, which means this angle is theta over a 2, if we can find this distance here, which we'll call x, then 0.5 minus x is going to give us h. Now let's look at this triangle in a bit more detail. We know that's 0.5. We know this is theta over 2, and we're trying to find x. So using the cosine rule, we know that cos theta over 2 equals x over 0.5. So x equals 0.5 cos theta over 2. And this means now that h is going to be 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 cos theta over 2. However, we want dh by d theta, so we now need to differentiate with respect to theta. Now the 0.5 differentiates to 0, and minus 0 0.5 cos theta over 2 cos goes to negative sign, so negative cos is going to positive sign, so that's going to become 0 0.5 
sine theta over 2 times point five, uh, times a half, because we need to multiply by the inside function differentiated. So this all turns out to be 0.25 sine theta over 2, which we can now put in here. So combining these, we now have dh by dt. Let's look at the top. We've got 0.1 times 1 times 0.25, so that gives us 0 0.025 sine theta over 2 over, and instead of a half, I'll make it 0.5, so 0.5 brackets 1 minus cos theta. So now we're at the point where we can use the fact that h is 0.2 of a metre. However, our expression only has thetas in it. So using that h, we need to find theta. So we go back here, and this expression, we know that h is 0.5 minus 0.5 cos theta over 2. If we substitute in 0.2 for h... And rearrange if we bring the 0.5 cos theta over 2 here. On the other side, we're going to have 0.5 minus 0.2, which gives us 0.3. Now, cos theta over 2 is 0.3 divided by half, which is the same as 0.3 times a half, which is 0.6. And now we can inverse cos to find theta over 2. And it doesn't matter whether your calculator's in degrees or radians, as long as it stays in the same. I'm in radians, and this will give us 0.9273, which will give us a theta equal to 1.8546. So now if we substitute it in here, dh by dt is going to be 0 0.025 sine. Now we know theta over 2 is 0 0.9273 over 0 0.5, minus cos. And we know theta is 1.8546. And if we put this in the calculator, we find that the rate of change of height when the height is 0.2 metres is going to be 0 0.03 metres per minute.